streaming in Twitch in Grand Tactician Civil War. And we are coming into episode number 10 of the good old boys, the Hazard County Volunteers from Hazard County, Georgia, who have who we've been following their progress during the course of the Civil War here. They started off the Civil War fighting in Tennessee with the Army of Tennessee around the Nashville area as well as up into Kentucky. They have been currently, they are transferred over into Virginia and they have been filling in in the Army of Northern Virginia for some other uh, brigades that have gone on furlough, some veteran brigades that have gone on furlough. So we have transferred some of our inactive brigades from Tennessee over into Virginia. So they have been involved in a couple of battles over here in Virginia, and we just finished up a glorious battle at the end of last episode where we fought off a few uh, Yankee corps that had came into the northern Shenandoah Valley, and then we spun around and we raced across northern Tennessee to fight to fight off another few cores of the of the north, <clears throat> and just a glorious, glorious battle. Really enjoyed this last battle that we've had. Now, of course, on the campaign map, I, th I believe this battle spanned about three days, so the battle is still technically going on as we're out here in the campaign map, so they, yeah, they are starting to route and leave now, so the battle has just ended on the campaign map, so let's take this moment now to go into the Army of Northern Virginia, at least the core here, and let's look at some of our units that fought in that battle. Of course, our star brigade is the glorious brigade from Alabama, led by Brigadier General John Pelham. These are our studs. They really requited themselves well in that battle, but everybody did well. Everybody, all of the units did well. Let's check on... Uh, Lucas Beauregard Duke, who is our commander from our Hazard County Volunteers, the good old boys. Now they have be they've gotten one star of veteran, veteran star here, and let's look at Lucas. Lucas is up to two stars of fame. He does his uh, he does seem to be. Let's see, he's considered cautious. He is liked. He doesn't have a whole lot of administrative skills here, but his cunning, of course, he's a Duke boy, so you know his cunning is going to be right on up there. So we're still kind of following along with these guys. The brigade itself is doing very well. They did take a few casualties on that last outing, but they're still in pretty good condition. Is there anybody else that needs reinforcements here? Let's go through all of our brigades now. Let's see. Jones could probably use some reinforcements. Ah, uh, yeah. Val Valipo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it looks like he needs reinforcements. So we will give Valipo some reinforcements from our conscripts. Get him back up to full power there. Brown could probably use some reinforcements. Let's give Brown some reinforcements. Anybody else? What about Pelham is, is in incredible shape. Can we upgrade your weapons? We can give them Springfield muskets. Okay, all of our units that are on furlough will be coming back shortly. Let's see. Beckham, how long? When, when are you coming back, Beckham? I can't. Oh, he's 35 days out. Course is only three days out. <clears throat> Ramser is only two days out. Okay. Yeah, Beckham's boys are from Alabama, so they're going to be 
Yeah, they had a good ways to travel to go back home on their furlough. So when they come back, yeah, they'll be in good shape. So we've got an Alabama brigade there, Alabama, South Carolina, and South Carolina. Okay. All right, so we're going to call this division here. This seems to be divisions from f deeper into the south here, Alabama and South Carolina. We're going to call this division here. We're going to call these division the Deep South Boys for that division. The Deep South Boys. Because you've got some of these brigades, and these are some of our really good brigades, too. Now, these brigades here were actually very heavy veteran brigades, but I did uh, dilute them, so to speak, with some uh, conscripts. <clears throat> but more or less, they are still some of our best brigades. Now, we've got some Mississippi boys here that have two stars. Uh, I probably need to give them some reinforcements let's get let's give jones some reinforcements okay so he's got some mississippi boys there's virginia north carolina and georgia so we've really got a pretty good mix in all of these divisions and the main reason for that is i've been struggling uh this entire game with getting volunteers from virginia so we've been having to just make do and bring in all our uh, soldiers from all around the South because we haven't really been able to get quality volunteers from the state of Virginia. And I'm blaming myself for that because I'm not totally understanding the mechanics for keeping Virginia happy. I know it has, it's has it got something to do with um, your generals and who you've got commanding, and I've been trying to stay on top of that. But obviously... I haven't been doing a very good job of it. Okay, so those guys are retreating on out of Virginia. Let's look at a couple of our other core. Make sure we don't have anybody that needs a promotion or anybody that needs reinforcements here. Yeah, Early's Brigade, he only has one early's division i mean he only has one brigade from virginia so yeah okay we need to upgrade this six pounder give them a 24 pound howitzer okay let's take a look at general stewart's cavalry real quick Let's see, who is my better commander here? I think I'm fixing to, ooh. There is General Johnston. Okay, we definitely want to replace him. I do not want to waste, I don't know how this happened. I, I Somehow I completely missed this. I don't know how I missed this. How in the world have I gone this entire game wasting General Albert Johnston on a 530-man cavalry brigade? This right here is just me not paying close enough attention is what this is. Okay, we're definitely we're definitely going to do something about this. Do we have any colonels available? Do we have any lieutenant colonels? Yeah, this looks like a job for a lieutenant colonel that we can upgrade to colonel. Let's give him a promotion and we'll give him that brigade is uh have, have i been wasting anybody else in here yes earl van dorn we don't need you in a 338 man cavalry brigade i don't know how i let this happen that might be one one reason why the people of virginia are not happy with me you reckon i wonder I wonder, let's give him a promotion and give him that assignment. That might very well explain why the people of Virginia have not been very happy. There's Bushrod Johnson right there. Let's get, let's get him freed up. 
Yeah, we'll give that to Munford for now. That frees up some quality guys for us here. In fact, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and let's get General, General Stewart. <clears throat> let's make these cavalry brigades a little bit bigger and a little more formidable. I have no volunteer. I, I'm just going to have to start defending on draftees. That's all we can do. Got plenty of draftees in the West. What about we've got some North Carolina? Let's bring in some North Carolina. These are going to be our draftees. We're going to give them the red trousers. I'm going to bring in one more. Got South Carolina, West Virginia, Virginia. We're getting short. We're still short in Virginia. So we'll we'll get we'll get these from South Carolina. Okay. And we will start beefing up these cavalry brigades here. Right. Yeah, they're still fleeing from the battlefield. Now, we do still have this, these guys up here. Now, we did not give them a really resounding defeat. They just kind of pulled back a little bit. So, we may go pick a fight with them here shortly once everybody has recovered. We still do have some unhappiness here in the main army, the Army of Northern Virginia. Let's try to see... If we can do something about that. Let's look at our units first. I know they can't be unhappy with Pelham. They can't be unhappy with Pelham. Let's see who else might be unhappy. We've got... They should not be unhappy with Beckham. What about Davidson's brigade? They should not be unhappy with him. He is more than... He is more than a formidable commander. They should be happy with him, so I don't think it's Davidson's brigade. What about Mountain? Mountain is just a one-star. Really need a better commander for these guys. Is there any, I sh let's give that to... Let's give that to Bushrod. I've been struggling with this brigade to get them, to get them a... Uh, a good commander. I'm going to give it to, to Bushrod Johnson. Let's see if that makes them a little more happy. Let's look at some more of these brigades. So we've got two star veterans here commanded by, yeah, they should be happy with him. We've got Course. What's his unit look like? They should be happy with Course. Valapo. My problem may be Valapo. I don't know. I may come back and revisit Valapo here. And we've got Manigault. They should be happy with Manigault. I know they should be happy with Evans. What about Fry? They should be happy with Fry. They should be happy with Fagan, Ramsour. Let's give Ramsour a promotion. They may not like him continuing to be a colonel. We should have already given him a promotion. They should be happy with him. Now, what about our cavalry units? Aha! I believe this is probably our problem right here. Kershaw. Okay, I think Barton is our problem. Barton is our problem. We need a better commander for, for these guys. 
these guys, and we got to give them better weapons too. We'll give them our Frank Wesson carbides that we have so many of here, but we've got to give these guys a better commander. They are they are not happy with Barton. He's not nearly famous enough and well known enough to make these guys happy. Uh, yeah, we got to get we got to get them a better commander. So let's see who we can get. I really don't, man. I don't want to waste J Albert Johnston on a. Oh, I don't think I have a choice right now, though. I mean, this guy, I should be giving him a division command. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug him in there temporarily for now. What about Chambliss, too? He's there. Could really use a better division commander, actually. In fact, wow, wow, let's see. Let's see here. Ah, I'm going to give this back to Barton. I mean, we just we we got to go with Barton. I can't I can't have Johnston uh, commanding a brigade. I'm going to give Johnston the division command. Yeah, that's more like it right there. And uh, they're just going to have to be happy. I don't know what else to tell them. I don't know what else to tell them. Um, let's see. Why don't we do this? That does away, basically does away with Kershaw's brigade. Let's bring in some more cavalry here. Man, my, I guess I'm going to need to get into... We'll just get into Alabama here. It's going to have to be draftees. And we'll use these guys to reinforce our, our two cavalry brigades. All right. Let's go see how things are going over in Tennessee and Kentucky. We're still trying to get prepared for that army there that's coming down. I know we've got anywhere from 80 to 85,000. I've got about 75,000 here and we've got another 14 to 15, 16,000 there. We do have some divisions over here in Arkansas we can transfer over. They don't seem to be threatening us over here, which is good news. The problem is I've got units sitting over here that are not being used. So I may go ahead and transfer some of these brigades over to my Army of the Mississippi. We may go ahead and create a, a new division here. Do we have anybody that's worthy of division command? Any of these guys worthy? Oh, we've got William Jackson. What about my artillery guys? I don't often look at my artillery commanders, and I really sh should be doing that. Grigsby's looking good. Let's give him a promotion. Actually, he deserves two promotions. I'm going to promote him up to Brigadier General, and I'm going to get him out in the general pool. We're going to give that command to a major here. Let's give that to Stuart. That frees up Grigsby. Grigsby. 
Jones deserves a promotion. Porterfield deserves a promotion. I'm going to create a new division. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got I want to keep the Missouri boys in the West. I want to keep the Texas boys in the West. Missouri, Missouri. Ay ay ay. I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and take our Texas boys. I'm going to keep the Missouri There's Texas right there. I'm going to keep the Missouri boys here close by. Uh, because they they are not going to want to get too far away from Missouri, and I'm going to let Van Dorn take the uh, well. Actually, I got this backwards. Let's get the Texas boys back with Hardy. I knew Hardy Hardy is from Texas, so let's let Van Dorn keep the Missouri boys, and he'll stay here. Yeah, yeah, okay. This is this is what I want to do here. We're going to keep our Missouri boys here with McCullough and the Western Army. And Hardy and the Texas Division, we're going to let the Texas Division head over toward the Mississippi River. And we're going to use them. And I'm going to go ahead and let Van Dorn go ahead and get some more Missouri Actually, actually, let's cancel that, cancel that. We've actually got some more Missouri and Indian Territory draftees coming in, so they will be ready to be used. Hardy, I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you take your artillery with you when you go. Yeah. We're going to transfer Hardy over to the Army of the Mississippi. Start working him to, toward the east. Yeah. Hardy, you and the Texas Division come over here and join uh, General Henry R. Jackson with the Army of the Mississippi. We're going to start working you toward, uh, these Texas boys toward the east. Start getting them involved in a little more of the action. And actually... Hardy, why don't we go ahead and let you recruit some more boys from Texas here? Where are my, where's Texas? Here we go. Let's let him get a cavalry brigade from Texas. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Gonna try to keep all of my Texas boys together here. And they are going to be coming over here to join the Army of the Mississippi in western Tennessee. That will give that will keep them on hand to be used to the west if we need them. And they can also be used over in central Tennessee and Kentucky if we need them. It's just kind of a more centralized centralized location here where we can use them in whichever direction that we need them and, and what I'm ultimately trying to do is I'm trying to get ready to take these guys on here but as long as they you know I, I know they're sitting there building up their strength too so for every little bit of uh, strength I build up I know they're also building up strength so this is we got a big battle brewing over here and when it happens it's going to be epic it's absolutely going to be epic. Okay. Um, do I want to bring the Army of the James back down here toward Richmond? I don't think I do. I don't think they're a threat to me down here. Though he does have some guys in that fort. You know what? I better bring... I just better bring them keep them down here just in case and what do we have here we've got an armory let's upgrade that armory we haven't upgraded anything in a while 
spend a little money on some local we might need to go up here and run these guys off what's he got there he's got 15,000 it's hard to tell when they're on top of each other like that we've got 50 we got 9,000 and then 15,000 so that's about 25,000 and then another 8,000 so he's got about 35,000 men there our army seems to be in pretty good shape we do have about 3,600 men disabled got 10,000 men here do I want to transfer some divisions over to the army of the Shenandoah and let them lead this battle huh or do we want to just come on up with Longstreet I need to take I need to bring at least 40 50,000 men to the battle they're in bad weather there let's do this we haven't done this in a while this is always interesting I'm going to put these men under the command of General Johnston So let's transfer to him Ewell's division. Let's transfer Frost's division. Uh Okay, now where is the, where are my, where are my Hazard County volunteers? What am I missing here? Okay, what did I just do? Did I misclick something somewhere? There they are. Okay, I guess I was blind. So he is part of Frost's division. That's right. Okay. Frost, Frost, we need somebody better than Frost. Do we have someone available? Grigsby. Who do we have in the division that would be better? Brown. Don't really have anybody. Frost it is. Mm. We have anybody in Jackson's division that would be a good division commander Bartow B looks really good Smith 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 it is okay Smith's going to be our division commander over here Smith it is so let's find a replacement for Smith like we don't have anybody but Stevens it's gonna have to do all right and we're gonna replace Frost with Smith if I can where is Smith there he is okay so Smith will become our new division commander here
They may not be very happy with Stevens, but they're going to have to be. They're going to have to be. Okay. So that gives Johnson 30. He needs a little bit more. He needs a little more. That's not going to be enough. Who can we borrow some more units from? What about the Army of the Rappahannock? Ah, it's not much. Let's give him Johnston's cavalry. We'll give him Johnston's cavalry. Let's give him Johnston's cavalry. I will give him. I'm going to give him Donaldson's. Uh, conscripts take them a little while to get there too and I think that's probably going to be enough to take those guys on it'll be a challenging fight but we also got uh, the, uh, Jeb Stewart's cavalry close by as well okay so how long is it going to take these guys to get here it shouldn't take them long they're just one day away all right we're going to let time tick along on that. And then we're going to send the Army of the Shenandoah up there. Do I need to build another? I probably need to build a hospital up here. Why don't we do that? Let's yeah, I've got an hospital available that I can build. Let's build one up here outside of Winchester somewhere right there. I'm trying to Okay, we can build a hospital there. That's perfect. He'll made it back down to Made it back down to Richmond. We've got enrollment going on here with the uh, United States. Okay. I would love to take Fort Monroe. If I fight them off and get some breathing room, I may just come on down here with a massive army real quick and try to assault that fort. I really, really would like to get that fort back and not have that threat on the end of the peninsula right there. But I'm really going to have to beat them back up here to make that happen. What about our reinforcements here? We're still waiting on those guys. We've got the army of, let's go ahead and call this the army of Tanucky. I like that name for some reason. And we may see if we can do some adventuring with them. We've got them on hand too. We can get them over to help in central uh, Tennessee if we need them so we've got the Army of the Mississippi the Army of Tennessee and the Army of Tanucky all within easy marching distance of aiding each other which should give us comparable numbers to what they have up here so we're just trying to be prepared for them and for whatever they're going to throw at us I don't know if we're really going to be able to build our armies much bigger than what we have right now. If we do, it's going to be with draftees. And I just don't know how well that's going to turn out for us. We really may be at the limit of how big we can get our armies. Unless we can do something to get more volunteers. Okay, it looks like he has all of his men. So I'm going to bring General Stewart up. 
I'm going to bring the Army of Northern Virginia over to be on hand if needed. And we're going to start marching the Army of the Shenandoah north. See if we can run these guys off here. I don't like them hanging around up there um, at Harper's Ferry. Yeah, that's Harper's Ferry, so... Yeah, we should start marching here any minute. We're, we're coming up on the morning, morning time, so the army should begin to march. All right, everybody's moving now. We'll speed this up a little bit. I don't know why Jeb Stewart is not moving. Jeb Stewart, where are you going? You're supposed to be coming that direction. Why are you not moving? Get up here. I don't know why I can't get Jeb Stewart to move his cavalry. That is really annoying right there. Is this your readiness? Do you not have... He's got plenty of readiness. He should be able to move. What is your problem? Okay, I'm baffled here. Why are you not moving? Move your cavalry, for God's sakes. There he goes. Well, he, he barely moved. He might have moved a mile. I want to get him closer. Meanwhile, we're losing time here. Okay, now then, let's go on in for the attack. Let's push them on out of here. Army of, of Northern Virginia, just kind of hang back. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be just kind of reserve here. Okay, he's got third. Ooh, we've got fifth. Really, 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 really. Yeah, but some of these are hours and hours away. So we're. I think it's really going to be, the numbers will be more equal than not. I think it's going to really be a little more equally. The numbers will be more equal than what it was showing us right there. Looked like my live stream just blanked out on me for a second there. I don't know what happened. I just now noticed that. I hope it wasn't a blank screen for very long. If it was, I apologize for that. I just happened to glance over at my other screen and saw that it was... It was just black screen there for a second. <clears throat> I may have to go back and edit. I don't edit very often, but I may have to go check that out. Okay, now it's showing us as having 56,000 men. Uh, that is only if we bring in the division of the, uh, arm of the Corps of Northern Virginia, which is only going to show up probably by the time the battle's over. So I'm not really counting those guys. Only if I need them in a long shot am I counting on them. It's still saying that this is under the command of General Longstreet. Now that's got me puzzled right there. I was hoping this would be under the command of Johnston. I guess because... Longstreet is a lieutenant general. I don't know. Okay, whatever. All right, so General Johnston. 
Let's get your boys up here where we can look at you. He's coming in from up there. Okay, now it's telling me to fight a defensive battle. And we are evenly matched here. I probably should do that. Let's get your boys single file so I can see what I got here. We do have the objective. All right, I'm going to play it straight. But I am going to give the AI the option to maneuver around me, so to speak. I'm going to play it straight. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set up a straight line defense and then uh, re-maneuver uh, depending on what he does. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to set up a straight line parapet defense here along this main road. And that's it. That's it. Uh, if he will, if he's now, he's probably going to try and maneuver around this way, which is what I would do. And if he does, then I'll have to reposition and face him. Uh, but I'm going to just play it straight and just put a head-on defense here against the AI. So if the AI does just come straight at me, which is not the wisest thing to do, but if he does, we've played it straight. But if he does try to maneuver, then we're going to have to maneuver to face him to make it a little more interesting. Okay, so let's get set up here. General Jackson, let's just put you on the main line here. Do we have good weapons? Yeah, we've got pretty decent weapons here. We do have some mixed muskets. So General Jackson, I am going to... Let's put our best weapons on the end here. Oh, and he does get a... Yeah, let's get you there. Let's put our next not-quite-so-best weapons next to them. Then we've got some decent weapons there. Whoops. And then we've got Springfield Rifle Muskets we'll put right in the center. Uh, Lane, let's get your batteries just like that. Okay. General Smith, I'm going to line you up here and let your boys start manually building some uh, breastworks. You will We're gonna put you right there on the line. And then we've got Johnston's cavalry. We'll keep them here and we've got some other there's our conscripts. We'll have our conscripts available to help somebody. And then we've got some more cavalry to plug in wherever we need them. And let's everybody go long range, please. Everybody go long range. Okay, I'm spreading myself out pretty thin here. Uh, that's going to give the AI an opportunity to maybe try and exploit and really uh, maneuver on me. So, um, like I said, now I don't min max against the AI. I don't. I don't play that way. I'm trying to play it straight. Uh, if I was going to min max, then I would. I would, obviously, probably angle my. Just make it almost impossible for the AI. But see that you know in real life, you know, uh, com generals didn't have the you know, the luxury of what I have right here. You know, they didn't have a map they could scroll around and experiment with and all that stuff. They And they had, you know, they had to make, 
instantaneous decisions. So in an instantaneous situation like this, General Johnson would have probably said, well, he's coming from that direction. Let's throw up some, let's throw up some defenses on the main road. He wouldn't see, you know, he wouldn't have days and hours to sit here and analyze and look at all the possible road and roads coming in and all of those sorts of things. Uh, so we're going to play it straight. And we're gonna and we're gonna give the AI at least a fighting chance here. So let's get the let's get the clock going. I will let these guys though start building some breastworks on their own. They probably won't get a chance to to finish them, but that's okay. Whoops. Uh, no, that's not right. Let's see. I didn't do that right. Hold on. Breastworks, please. Yeah, that's fine. And you, why don't you do the same thing? my Duke boys at I always lose track of them okay they're on the far right so they're probably going they're going to see some action over here especially if if the AI tries to flank me over on this side which I'm expecting them to do it's what I would do so let's get time ticking along here we'll speed things up I will move Gladden, why don't you bring your cavalry over here? We'll guard that road coming across the creek there. Donaldson, they, these are our conscripts. We will try to use them to plug a whatever hole that we can. Okay, now why are you not working on those? You're supposed to be working. Yeah, you're supposed to be working on those breastworks. right? Oh, here they come. And they are, they are, yep, here they come. They are doing exactly what they need to do. So you will, we're going to have to reposition you. So you will, you start bringing your boys this way. You will, yeah, start. You will start bringing your boys over here. I think we're going to need you over here on the right. And you boys need to get busy why are, why are you not working on your breastworks are they working on the breastworks I don't know I can't tell what they're doing there Donaldson, let's get your conscripts moving over this way, too. Yeah, I doubt they're going to come. They're going to come right on in straight into us from Milltown. So we're just, you know, we're forcing them to maneuver. I may, you know what? He may be faking me out too. I may be over, I may be over um, reacting here. I don't think I am though. I don't think I'm overreacting. It looks like he is coming from my right, so I don't think I'm overreacting here. Waitman, are you working on those breastworks or not? Start work on the breastworks, please. Oh, we have got an end of day. Well, that's unlucky for the AI right there. That's very unlucky for the AI. Longstreet has arrived too. So has Stewart. Very unlucky for the AI. All right.
right, here is Longstreet's core. Yep, he's here now. Very, very unlucky for the AI. Very unlucky. Um, well, I was going to try to give the AI a fighting chance, but I don't think they stand a chance now, period. Yeah, I don't think they stand a chance. <laughs> this is pretty sad. Let's go ahead and get Yule over here. I'm not going to build uh, breastworks and not going to do that. I am going to take it easy on them to a certain extent in that regard. I will put my I will put my uh, draftees over there to guard the left flank. I, I will cheat B down a little bit. I'll cheat Donaldson down a little bit in case they do try to do something sneaky on me over here. I don't see why they would. This is a massive fort. He would be crazy to try and come at me over here through these, this forest. Just crazy. But just in case, I'm going to have my draftees over there in case he tries to hit my left. I don't, I don't see how he would try to come through that forest on my left. And now that it's... Uh, there's no way he can hit my right either because my reinforcements are here. I'll tell you what I will do. I'll put... I can't put him over there. Where are you at, Stuart? Yes, Stuart is right here. We'll bring, we'll bring Stuart in up this road here. All right. Let's get... Let's get it moving and see how we're how we're doing here. Where did he go? Did he back up? Where did he go? Stuart, you come over here just in case he is trying to pull some kind of fake out on me. Smith, did you finish those? They're still working on their breastworks. That's fine. You will... What do I want to do with you? All right, Longstreet, just bring your boys up to the creek here. You will... I'm going to cheat you back over this direction. speed this up. He really backed off. He backed way off. So I was expecting him to, to come on in a little closer, but he's backed way off. So, uh, yeah, we've still got anything's possible. Um, I don't think they stand much of a chance, though. Um, I was hoping that he would have a little bit more time to Hold on, Yule. Who you halt? Don't move yet, Yule. Don't move. He is coming quick that way, but Yule, you stay there until Longstreet can get his boys moved up. Okay, Fry. Get up there like that. Ramser, face them. Face them. Face them. They're still working on breastworks. He may very well get to that creek before I do, which is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. He came racing up that road.
Come on, boys, get to the creek now. I think we're going to get there first. Uh, Lucas, what are you doing? Do you Have you finished your breastworks? Yeah, get your boys on your breastworks there. All right, Lucas is in good shape. Right, Lucas, you've got those Mississippi rifles. You've got a good field of fire out there. Cannons are getting into them. General Stewart's coming up with his cavalry, and we've got General Johnston with his cavalry. And we've got Barton right here. I'm going to bring Barton forward a little bit. All right, Stevens, why don't you orient yourself that direction, please? Fight off that cavalry unit. You boys come up to the creek. Come up to the creek, please. are long range, right? You send out some skirmishers, please. You send out skirmishers. Okay, I think he realizes now he's not going to get through on my right. It looks like we may be getting these breastworks finished just in the nick of time here. Why don't you boys send out some skirmishers? If he's going to try and maneuver out in front of us, then let's get in behind him and harass him. Fagan, you send out skirmishers too. I don't know. This is just going to be a death zone out here. I think they've just gotten caught in a death zone now. The timing was just really unfortunate for the AI here for this game. Uh, it gave me the opportunity to let all of my re long distance reinforcements come on into the field. And I just had excellent field position here. Just There's just no way I could mess this up. What do we have out here? Really? Okay, let's give our let's give our uh, draftees an opportunity to get some experience. You boys go harass that battery out there, would you please? Also, this these core these AI core have just recently lost a pretty substantial battle, so their morale is already low as it is from having previously lost that battle over in the uh, valley of Shenandoah, Shenandoah Valley. So what are you doing? Just what are you doing? Okay, he finished up that breastwork. Okay, you boys come forward and harass them. Okay, Stevens, you send out some skirmishers too. They're trying to get out of your range, so just let your skirmishers 
go get them. LZ, send out skirmishers. I can probably defeat these guys with skirmishers, truth be told. I think their morale is just so low. It's probably just going, all it's going to take is just harassment from skirmishers to defeat these guys. You know, morale's a big thing. Uh, Hazard County Volunteers, you get involved in the skirmisher fund too. Go ahead and send out some skirmishers. They've got those Mississippi rifles, so we definitely want to get the Mississippi rifles involved. Just stay on them, skirmishers. Stay on them. Um, Long Street, what are you doing? Oh, Long Street's still trying to get in position over here. Should I let you will just come on out then? I mean, he's coming at me with some power, but they're very demoralized. These guys are very demoralized. I mean, my skirmishers are going to really just be able to wear these guys down. And when they get through the skirmishers, they've got my, my, my actual battle line to deal with. And my battle line is looking awesome. I, yeah, they just don't stand a chance re here, really. But... I do need some experience for some of my units. I want to get out of this battle with nobody routing. Everybody getting good experience. That brigade has already lost 650 men. General Hood, bring your division across the, the creek on the far right over here. Okay, who is this? Why don't you guys do a fighting withdrawal? Same with you, fighting withdrawal. Just make them pay for it. Don't let them have it easy. Don't give it to them. Hold on, what's this telling me over here? Kershaw whipped. Where? What? What are you? What? Wait a minute. Whoa, hold on now. Hold on now. This is a surprise. Ha ha ha. Now this. Okay. You know what? 
amazing. I didn't see that coming. But you know what? Fine. Completely caught me by surprise there. I don't even know how they got back there. Where where could they have possibly come from? The only thing I can figure out is um, I disregarded this forest over here. He got me so caught up with what was going on over here. I ignored the forest. He must have brought some divisions down this road through this forest all the way around the far side of the map and then came in behind me that's the only thing i can think of that's the only way those guys could have got back there kudos and he's got a full division back there too a full division very very impressive very impressive but the problem for him is He's coming up behind Stonewall Jackson. Yeah. He's got Stonewall Jackson's division right here. All right. Well, you know what? Kudos to the AI. I am absolutely impressed by this absolutely impressed we've got Wheeler's division right here too let's bring Wheeler over to deal with them as well absolutely impressed by that man I'll tell you what very good I can't that's the first time that has ever happened to me I, you know what? I got so caught up. Well, this is going to be easy. I got these guys beat. I'm just going to let my skirmishers go out and take them on. And the whole time, he snuck an entire division. A, a large division, too. A four-brigade division he snuck in behind me here. Very impressive. And yeah, I'm going to have to deal with these guys. They're a problem. This is a problem. This is definitely a problem for me here. And I can't forget about what's going on out here either. This ain't no joke out here either. This ain't no joke out here. Okay, Duke, do a fighting withdrawal, please. Y'all are doing well. Is Wheeler moving yet? Yeah, Wheeler, get your boys over here. We got to deal with this brigade that just came out of nowhere on us here. Okay, General Stewart. Attack that brigade, please. Attack that brigade. General Barton. Attack. Attack. We're still doing fine out here. Fine enough. Our skirmishers are continuing to hold them at bay. These guys here have got to be tired after they march through that forest. They've got to be tired. Yeah, they're, these guys are not doing well. Hats off to the AI, though. Hats off to the AI. I am very, very pleased to see that. That's going to make me think next time. 
I've learned a valuable lesson from that for sure. And I'm just lucky that I've got I've got divisions on hand to deal with these guys. If I didn't have divisions on hand to deal with them, I would have been in trouble. Get in there and give them the cold steel, boys. Okay, y'all come on down and help down here, please. Donson's Brigade, you get down here as well. Might as well come on in. Yeah, they're they're breaking. I probably don't need Wheeler over there now. How are my skirmishers doing? Uh oh Duke, get on back. Get on back, Duke. Call your boys back. Call your boys back. Call your boys back. Let's go ahead and just let the line hold them now. How we doing back here? General Stewart, see if you can capture these guys. Yeah, that was an impressive maneuver. He just didn't have enough to really follow it through. But I'm very impressed by this, by this wild roundabout flanking maneuver there. Really caught me off guard. Okay, you boys up here can get back on the line. Come on back to the line. Wheeler, I don't need you over there anymore. Let's bring you back up to the line as well. General Stewart, you keep chasing these guys down. Make sure they don't come back. Well, I guarantee you I'll be thinking twice before I take one of my flanks for granted next time because that could have been a disaster. That could have been an absolute disaster right there. Uh, Lucas, how are you doing? He's lost 127 men. That was probably mostly from his skirmishers, though he is, he's pretty much the center of the line right now. He's the center of the line right now. Okay, Hood should be moving up with his boys. All right, Hood, start moving up. Walker. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Yule, where are you at? Where are you at, Yule? There you are. Yule, start bringing your boys out, too. Looks like they are, they're going to start pulling out. I may have to get aggressive here. All right, skirmisher, stay on them. Who does not have skirmishers out? Everybody needs to have skirmishers out. Do you have skirmishers out? What about you? Get your skirmishers out, please. Get your skirmishers out. Lucas, get more skirmishers out.
Yep, they're skedaddling. You get some skirmishers out too, please. Skirmishers, keep up the pressure on them. What are you doing? All right, General Hood. Assault, sir. General Ewell. He's still maneuvering. Uh, Smith. You are free to assault. General Jackson, where are you at? I know you want to assault. You're free to assault, sir. General Ewell, you are free to assault with your division, sir. All right, let's speed this up a little bit and see what our division commanders do. Looks like Hood is coming forward with his division over here. <clears throat> yep, he's coming forward with his division. Looks like Smith is bringing his skirmishers back and he's going to come out with his brigades. The enemy is retreating. What did our losses look like? We lost 900 something. They lost considerably more. Let's just let this play on out. Really, really good maneuver by the AI. He took a complete division marched them through the forest around the mountains and literally came in behind me and took the objective. Very interesting. Couldn't have asked for anything better for the AI to do. Man, I tell you what, there's a lot of dead blue uniforms out here though. Ay, man, what a, oh, very macabre. Okay, are you boys, let's speed this up even more. I don't see my division commanders really doing anything. They're just letting their men rest. They don't seem to want to chase after them. I was going to leave that up to the division commanders. All right. Well, we did lose 900 men there. And some of that was probably because of my mistakes that I made. Completely caught me by surprise there. I love it. <laughs> You know, stuff like that happened in real life. I mean, um, you know, whenever uh, Stonewall Jackson came at Hooper, uh, at uh, Hooker's right out of the wilderness, that's pretty much exactly what happened to General Hooker. 
he was he had that f- entire dense forest over on his right flank he didn't think there was any way anybody was ever going to come through that forest and the next thing you know his whole army got rolled up because Stonewall Jackson marched an entire division out of that forest and rolled him up I mean, that's pretty much what just happened to me. A division came through the forest on my left flank, even coming in behind me in my baggage train area. But the one thing that I had going in my favor was I just had overwhelming numbers. If it if I hadn't had those overwhelming numbers and all of those brigades on hand, I could have been rolled up right there. Very, very That's a lot of fun. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. All right, so we've ran them off from up there. I'm going to drop a save real quick. One thing that does teach me is I may I may have to stop playing it quite so straight. Uh, I'm giving I'm giving the AI lots of opportunities here just to try and give the AI a chance. And this kind of shows me that, you know, you can do that to an extent, but the AI in this game is not stupid. The AI, if you make some mistakes, the AI in this game can beat you, especially if it has overwhelming force. So, you know, I want to give the AI a break to a certain extent, but I need to also be careful and give the AI some credit as well. I've got to remember to give the AI some credit. All right. Uh, Army of the Rappahannock, we have we looked at you guys lately. Who needs reinforcements? Anybody? I think we're in good shape on reinforcements there. Okay, the battle's still going on up here out on the strategic map. Can't do anything there. I can get time ticking, though. Let's go ahead and speed up the clock a little bit here. I just want to run them back across the Potomac River. Get them out of North Virginia. All right, we do have a project coming available. Let's see what we've got. Market reform, that will probably be good. What does that do for us? Let's read up on that. Finance improvement of the nation's domestic markets to boost the economy in the long term. This will increase the efficiency of all market buildings. That sounds really good to me. Let's go ahead and invest some money in that. Don't really have anything over here on the military side right now. Let this battle finish up over here. Yeah, they're starting to brout now and get off the get off the field. Let's slow things down for just one second. I'm gonna bring the army of the Shenandoah back down toward their supply. And I'm going to transfer those brigades back over to the Army of North of the Corps of Northern Virginia. Let's transfer those units back. All right, so we had Ewell and Smith. going to transfer Ewell back. I think I will keep Smith in the Army of the Shenandoah. I want to beef up the Army of the Shenandoah a little more. So our Duke boys will be in the Army of Shenandoah. Uh, the 
Hazard County Volunteers. They will remain in the Army of Shenandoah for now. Donaldson, let's bring your draftees back over under Long Street. Who needs reinforcements? Jackson's boys need reinforcements. Stevens could use some reinforcements. Don't have any on hand right now to give you reinforcements. But yeah, Jackson's Jackson's uh, brigades look like they could use some reinforcements. Okay. We're going to bring the Army of Northern Virginia back down here to their supply. And we're going to bring the Army of Rappahannock back down into Culpeper. And Stuart, where are you at? Let me get you under uh, it's not letting me. There you are. Let's bring you back to the crossroads, please. Looks like we have managed to get some more of our ships constructed, which I believe will be over here on our Mississippi squadron. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, we've got four ships. It's not much to speak of. Where are you coming from? Not sure where he's coming from, but it's going to take him 38 days to get up the river here. That's going to take a while. Let's build some more ships here. Let's build... We can do a cotton-clad ram, or we can do a paddle steamer gunboat. Let's build a couple of more of these paddle steamer gunboats. Only two guns on those things, though. Well, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Okay, has our Texas Brigade made it to the Mississippi? Have they arrived? Yeah. Hardy has arrived with the Texas Division to the Army of Mississippi. So they're on hand if we need them. I'm looking forward to this battle right here. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is going to be a lot of fun. Whenever he makes his move, it's going to be epic. But I've already learned my lesson. I'm not I'm not coming back into Kentucky again. Not until I have not until I've really beaten these guys down. So I'm going to have to be patient and wait for them to uh, go on the offensive and I'm going to have to fight a defensive war against those guys I've already gone up into Kentucky three times and it hasn't gone well for me hasn't gone well for us now I tell you what now I may want to build a hospital around the Fredericksburg area I can build a hospital. Let's build a hospital here in the Fredericksburg area. Yeah, we'll build a hospital there. And we do have another furnace. We've already upgraded that furnace. Is there any other things that we can upgrade? That's been upgraded. That's been upgraded. Let's upgrade, yeah, let's upgrade that hospital in Richmond. How about that? And we do have a project. The civil order is available again. And we've got trade warfare. I think I probably want, and we've got, I don't need to suppress the population. Let's do trade warfare. Let's get some low-hanging fruit here. Oh, I still got another one available I missed. 
Uh, no, I'm not going to suppress the population. I don't think I need to do that. Let's wait for something better. Maybe railroad construction or some good old propaganda. You know, we could always use some good propaganda. All right, we've got time ticking along pretty quick here. Army of Northern Virginia is making their way down to their supply depot on the north side of the Rappahannock River. We've got our fort at Fredericksburg with a pretty good sized garrison in it that will guard Fredericksburg. So I just we I think we've got this pretty well in hand up here on the Potomac River. Longstreet made it to his destination. As long as he doesn't bust a move on me over here, and I don't think anything's happening in Missouri, so we're gonna we're just gonna let time tick along here. Let our men heal up. Let our economy try to recover. Let's build we're building some ships. Okay, we've got the impressment done that's going to help us with our economy in the meantime I don't think we've really got a threat that we need to worry about immediately we are building some hospitals which should help us with our uh, casualties we've got a lot of casualties in the Army of Northern Virginia but I can't help but notice that our men are no longer unhappy. So we have managed to take care of that the unhappiness issue. And we've gotten uh, everybody content with their commanders. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's take care of our next policy. still cannot get into I think I'm going to have to do either the Revenue Act or Bounties to get us into Chapter 3 here alright we'll do a Revenue Act that will open up a pathway into Chapter 3 also I could have done Industrialization maybe that's going to take 48 days though Industrialization would have given us a path down into Chapter 3 as well. Okay. So we got that rolling along. Time is ticking. We are into September of 1862. I am not going to do any more aggressiveness into Maryland. I don't want to uh, knock down the, uh, the North's morale too much. I kind of want to keep, keep the war going. Give the give the uh, AI a chance to really build some good strong armies for us to fight against here. Just see what the AI can do, what it can come up with. I know that it's definitely going to have superior weapons to me. They're going to start getting those long range rifles, and that's going to really make it hard for us to win battles. And we're going to have to just really buckle down, start learning how to to build parapets and our defenses. And because um, those long range weapons are going to be tough, they're going to really, really be tough. And like I said, I'm going to be limiting myself to the uh, rifles and hand weapons that I'm going to allow our units to use. I'm going to be limiting us to the Mississippi rifles, the reboard muskets and the Springfield musket rifles and the legacy stuff the older legacy stuff that the Confederacy had access to I'm not going to be equipping any of the southern soldiers with the really long range infield rifles or the European rifles or any of those we're going to be nerfing ourselves pretty good on the weapons still go oh cotton is king that might be good what Maintain good relations with European powers. Or I could wait for farm mechanization or plantation mechanization. I don't really care about the European powers. 
So this really is not the most important thing to me. I'm not going to use any of their weapons anyway. I've already said I'm going to nerf myself on that. So I don't really need Cotton as King. But Plantation Mechanization sounds like something that I might like. Subsidizing Agriculture. I'm going to hold out for something good. Nothing on the military side here is available. So let's just keep holding out. Keep time ticking along here. We're just kind of at a... Let's just have a little peace dividend here. Let's have a peace dividend. I'm going to speed up time a little bit more. We're going to go up to 20 speed time here. I'm going to just kind of back off. Keep an eye and make sure nobody comes moving in with a really big army on me. Because we've got time going by pretty fast. So a lot of things could happen real quickly here. But we've given them some pretty good beatdowns here. Especially up in the Virginia area. So I don't see the AI coming at us anytime soon in Virginia. It's this army here in western Kentucky that I'm the most worried about. Oh, weapons are delivered. What have we got? We've got some more Colt Revolving Rifles for our cavalry. Now, that's that'll be fun. Let's go in here and check on General Stewart's cavalry. Now, I know he did have some reinforcements that were coming along. So let's take a look at these guys here. All right, let's reinforce Munford. And let's reinforce field. Okay, Munford, let's give you some some of these Frank West who was let's see 200 yards, 200 yards. Coat revolving, that gives 12 a minute. I think we want to go with these Colt revolving rifles. Nice. Field, can we give you the Colt Revolving Rifles too? Yes, we can. Very good. All right. And let's check on our weapon orders and see what else we've got coming in. I can't order any Henry Rifles. Or the Spencer Repeating Rifles. I'm, like I said, I'm going to nerf myself on those but now the the AI is going to be coming at me with some of these bad boys right here sooner than later and I'm going to be struggling against them we do have Springfield rifle muskets can I order them I can't order those we've already got an order of Mississippi rifles We've already got an order of the Plains Rifles and the Reboard Muskets. And I can also order some 12-pound Napoleons. Let's get 16 more of the 12-pound Napoleons. We'll order those. Okay. Can't ever hurt to have some more artillery. Going to speed up time. Got a plantation there. Do we have any more industry over here that we can make improvements to? That's the Raleigh Prison. We've got some brickworks. Let's upgrade that brickworks there. Do we have any company applications? We've got a foundry. 
that is available. Uh, let's approve at additional cost. Let's not do that. We got farms, brickworks. We could almost ready to do a mill. Almost ready to do some salt works. But we do need mills. We do need factories. We do need more foundries, but we don't have any ready to go yet. Okay. All right. Going to speed time up. I'm trying, I'm just trying to keep an eye on this Army of the Ohio group here. Union has just done some diplomacy. That's fine. They're going to start getting some really good weapons. What's this right here? Construction complete. We built our hospital up at Winchester. That's going to help us with our casualties. How's the Army of the Mississippi looking? Looking very good. Have we got any new projects that have come along? Occupation, I don't need that because I'm not really occupying anybody. Railroad construction, let's take a look at this. A lot of resources in labor finance, the railroad engineers and increased immigration of cheap manpower for labor especially from China and Ireland. Boy, that's very tempting. Oh, why not? Let's build that. That should give us the ability to build some railroads, I would think. Now, I've never built railroads before, so I don't know. Got a railroad going there. I'm going to speed, uh, slow down time while I try and see what I need, if anything, for railroads here. Could probably stand to get a railroad connecting my western front over here. So we've got Little Rock to Memphis. Boy, that's got to... What's it trying to tell me there? I would have to subsidize that funding for that. Yeah, I just don't have the funding for it right now. This is the one I think I want, though. Little Rock to Memphis. That will help us be able to get troops over here a lot quicker into the, into the far western front. But, you know, we haven't really seen much action over here. I haven't been aggressive in Missouri, so the AI hasn't uh, done much over here either. So this has just really been really quiet over here. And I'm going to keep it that way for the time being. I really want to fight more over here in Tennessee and in Virginia. All right, let's speed time back up. Civil War in the Transvaal. Tell you what I really need is a railroad line between Let's see, what is this town here? Between Charlottesville and and uh, Richmond, there's actually not a railroad line between those two. <laughs> That's interesting. Very interesting, to say the least. Charlottesville. Can I just not build a rail line there? Is there one... Jackson to Selma. Bo 
those are all for the north. I don't need any of those. I want... I don't see how I can build a line right here. This is where I need one, though, right here. I've got a line going up to Fredericksburg. If I could get one from Fredericksburg over to the Rapidan Bridge, that might be helpful. I, I don't understand the railroads completely. I'm a little... Don't totally get the railroads. But I'll figure it out. Yeah, we're just kind of going through a quiet spell here, which I'll take. We're into October of 1862, so we are fixing to get into the winter months. So everybody's going to be in winter quarters. It's going to be really costly to start trying to maneuver units around in the winter, but I'm, I'm just waiting on these guys. Let's, let's take a look-see here. 22,000 men, 25,000, so that's 50,000. 60, 61, 62,000. And then I know he's got more core, a couple of more core back there. So we're still looking at about 80,000 men back there. We've got some bad weather coming into central Tennessee. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm going to just speed up the clock again. Let's speed things up. We finished the Fredericksburg Hospital. So we've got plenty of hospitals in Virginia right now. What are my engineers doing? I haven't looked at my engineers in a while. They have built me a telegraph there. I think I've got telegraph stations linking everything across my front line now. I don't really have any telegraph stations over here. So why don't I bring my engineers over to the west? We'll start easing them over to the west and let's start getting us some telegraph lines coming this direction so we can communicate better with our western armies. Need to be able to communicate better with them. Speed the clock back up. As our engineers move. Weapons are delivered. Ah, look, we've got 10,000 Mississippi rifles delivered. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's do something with those right now. Let's cycle through our armies and see who needs weapons. Now, I know I want you to get better weapons. Let's look through all of these. We've got reboard muskets, Springfield muskets. Yeah, let's upgrade you to the Mississippi rifles. Springfield rifle muskets, reboard muskets, reboard muskets, Springfield muskets. Let's give you the planes rifles. Springfield muskets. Is there anybody that's still walking around with mixed muskets? I don't think so. Give you the reboard muskets. I think that's all we can do for now. All 
All right, let's see what we can order then. Let's order some more of those Mississippi rifles. Let's get another 10,000 of them. And let's order some more planes rifles too. What else can we order? I can't order the, the 1817s. We've already got an order of reboard muskets coming in. Okay. The one thing about these older rifles is they can't they can't hold bayonets, so they're not good for melee. They do have long range and decent accuracy, but they're not they're not melee weapons. They you can't really do a good bayonet charge with these things. So we limit ourselves on our bayonet capabilities. Let's keep time ticking here. Anything new on the projects that's come available? Cotton, we still got Cotton is King. We've got, ooh, Confederate rifles. Yeah, this gives us the Springfield rifle muskets. I think I said I was gonna I think I'm gonna nerf myself on that though maybe if I get desperate I might go ahead and get that I've got a lot available here rebuilt ironclads do we want to spend some money on that supply reform let's do Ooh, supply reform what does that give for us Let's do supply reform. Yeah. And I'm not going to do Cotton is King. I'm going to wait for farm mechanization or plantation. We're almost at plantation mechanization. So I think I'm going to wait for that. Things are looking good. We got, we got a nice little peace dividend going here. So let's enjoy our peace dividend. Let's see if we can finish out 1862 with a nice little peace dividend. Okay, our, our engineers are getting in place over here. Let's slow time down. We got our Revenue Act 2 done. Let's slow down time. Okay, you boys build me a telegraph station here. And we're going to start trying to get our telegraphs into the west here. I may need to actually build a telegraph back over this way though. Uh, I don't know how to see the... okay we've got a telegraph right there. Okay, that's fine. How is our river squadron looking? Still waiting on that ship there. Yeah, we'll just wait on that. That's fine. We do have a new policy. I think we still can't get down into Chapter 3 yet. Requires industrialization pre-war policy. Didn't have an industrialization pre-war policy, did I? Okay. War bonds or bounties? What does bounties do? It will attract more volunteers. 
but it will damage we'll get more desertions and it will hurt our morale man I don't know if that's something I want to do or not cotton king cotton or war bonds what does war bonds do we can fund the war effort I think we need war bonds fine All right let's speed up the clock we're getting into October of 1862 starting to move in toward the winter months so it's kind of been except for our one little battle up in northern Sh the Shenandoah Valley it's kind of been a slow episode here we've kind of with all of our victories that we won earlier we've kind of given ourselves a little bit of what I'm calling the peace dividend here so I'm just kind of speeding through this through these weeks and through this time here just letting our men recover see if we can accumulate some volunteers looks like we've got something available here so company application is available let's slow down time okay let's look at our company applications we've got a who's available here looks like a meal is available at additional costs okay we can approve this one so we can go ahead and get a salt works is available all right let's build a salt works somewhere then probably how about let's do a salt works here in Tuscaloosa looks like a place that have some salt mines I don't know don't even know where any salt mines are but we're gonna put those in Tuscaloosa keep time ticking along here are we able to build any railroads yet Cumberland Gap is getting don't see anything that's got funding for it yet so we will just let time continue to tick along make sure we're not getting any invasions here The AI for right now, they're just not doing much of anything. I'm going to speed this on up even faster. I may go into one of our armies here and look at our, if we have any volunteers available. haven't looked at General Polk's army in a while let's give them a quick look-see here and does anybody need reinforcements everybody is at complete all of these brigades are at full strength We've got three brigades of reinforcement draftees here on hand. Man, Walker, what are you? He's got some boys from Louisiana and Louisiana and Mississippi. These were originally from the uh, 
Army of the Mississippi. I may transfer them back to the Army of the Mississippi. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's transfer Walker back to the Army of the Mississippi. And let's see if he can get any more recruitments. We do have volunteers available. Volunteers are starting to show up. We don't have many from Mississippi, though. Who do we have the most volunteers from? We've got plenty from Alabama. Walker, why don't we let you get a unit of some Alabama boys here? We'll do 2,290. Yeah, I think I think I recruited them into Walker's division, which he is now part of the Mississippi. Yeah, they're coming into Walker's division. They're volunteers. Let's get him some more artillery here. We'll get him some some Arkansas boys. And we'll do the We need to start using some of these 12-pound Napoleons that we've been buying. They're only mediocre, but that's fine. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 12-pound Napoleons. We got a lot of those. We need to try to use them. I may start giving each of my divisions their own, their own, uh, little brigade of artillery as well let me look through my commanders make sure I don't have any really good commanders being used up in our artillery brigades doesn't look like it okay all right then um Hampton, where are your boys from? Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia. He's just kind of got all around guys here. Gonna promote these guys. Hampton, let's get you another brigade. How about let's get you some volunteers from somewhere? How about a small brigade of Georgia volunteers? 1,500. We'll recruit them. And then we've got Parsons. Where are your boys from? Your boys are Mississippi, Indian Territory. So these are Western boys, too. I may end up transferring Parsons over to the Army of the Mississippi as well. He was originally from uh, Missouri, so he's got some Western boys too. South Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama. Yeah, Parsons originally came from the Western Army also. Let's transfer him to the Army of Mississippi too. Okay. 
now this army of Mississippi over here do you have supply yeah you do have supply there let's get you some more supply going on uh oh what did I just click not sure what just happened oh I think the I think we moved over into the next chapter I don't really like that narration. I'm going to fast forward on through that. Let's just exit that video. Okay. Uh, okay, what was I doing? I was getting ready to... Yep, it is November the 6th, 1862. We are well into winter of 1862. I think I was get I was getting ready to maybe build a hospital here. Yeah, let's build a let's let's build them a hospital in this area here. Yeah, that'd be a good place for a hospital. The bloodiest war in America, so true. Any good projects available? Civil order. Cavalry reform, that might be worthwhile. What does cavalry reform do for me again here? allows the recruitment of horse artillery might be handy I don't I've never really been big on using that but may go ahead and do that why not okay everybody's in winter quarters now okay they have built the telegraph line there All right, let's come on down into Brownsville, Arkansas, and we're going to build a telegraph line there as well. And we've got some more weapons delivered. This is our some more 12-pound Napoleons. Sure, why not? nothing going on up there they're just they're just not wanting to do anything right now okay you boys here let's slow down time here you boys build me another telegraph right there we will speed up the clock as we try to get through winter here I don't know now. Sometimes the AI does start maneuvering during winter. You just never know. You never know. Army of the Rappahannock. Let's look at your weapons. Planes, rifles, Springfield muskets. Can we upgrade that? Can give them reboard muskets. Yeah, that's it. And where is my where's AP Hill at? We haven't looked at AP Hill in a while. Hills command. He needs more men for sure. Let's get
Well, we can't really call it. We need to call this the uh, the light division. That's what his division was called in real life. So that's what we're going to go with here. The light division. Not really sure why they were ever called that. Maybe because they weren't full-size brigades or something. But we are going to give him another brigade. Hopefully we can get some volunteers for him here. Oh, we got Kentucky boys available. I want to get them in the Army of tonight. We've got some Missouri volunteers available. We need to take advantage of that. Well, he just, I don't really have anything to give him but draftees over here in the East. I just, I don't have any volunteers from Virginia. I just, I'm not getting any cooperation in Virginia at all in regard to this war right now. Oh, but I do have Kentucky volunteers and I do have Missouri volunteers that I want to utilize here. So let's get over here to our Army of Tanucky. I think we're going to have to start a new division here. We've got who's worthy of a division. Let's look at our commanders. Lomax is looking good. He deserves a promotion. McCullough looks good. Preston looks okay. Little Kirkland doesn't look very good at all. Maybe McCullough, Lomax? No, not Lomax. All right, I'm going to let McCullough have a new division here in the Army of Tanucky. We're going to give Richard Garnett his brigade. We're going to start a new division. Bring in Garnett under him. We'll bring in Little under him, and we will let him recruit some more, some of these Kentucky boys that want to fight. Man, we got plenty of Kentucky boys, too. Let's get a full-size brigade of these Kentucky boys. Full-size brigade. Yeah. Also, let's upgrade our cavalry weapons. And let's take a look at our artillery here. Which one of my cavalry commanders is worthy of being a division commander? We've got Clayton. I think we better just ease up on that. We will give, let's Breckenridge, can you recruit anybody? We've got some Louisiana here. We've got Alabama boys. And we got Louisiana boys, that's about it. I'm gonna let him get some Alabama draftees. McCullough, I'm gonna let you get some Alabama draftees as well. Yeah, just slowly we're just trying to get some power here in Tennessee. The Union is definitely making progress with their research, so on and so forth. 
this is where I'm, I've got a big hole in my lines right here, but I do have these forts with some reasonable, with a reasonable garrison in them. I pr and I got a fort right here with a reasonable size garrison. Let's upgrade those guys. Confederacy issues war bonds. If he comes through those mountains with a considerable force, he may catch me catch me by surprise. I'm really counting on those on those forts to slow him down if he comes that way. Okay, so we've got our another ship constructed and we've got the salt works is constructed. All right. Yeah, we're getting into into winter months here. So there's probably not going to be much going on. We still can't get into ch Yeah, we can't get into chapter 3 now. We can do another conscription act. I don't think I need to do that. I've got plenty of conscriptions available right now. What does Military 3 do for me? Military reforms. Or Revenue Act. Income tax be raised 15%. All right, we've been doing really, really good militarily. We've been winning some pretty major battles, so I'm going to nerf myself on the military temporarily. Not take these military upgrades yet. So we'll go ahead and do the Revenue Act. We do have projects available as well. Any good civilian projects that I can do. Well, I was going to wait for the plantation mechanization, and I thought I had that. I don't know what happened. I must have spent those subsidies on something else without realizing it. Oh, well. Oh, well. This has been a pretty slow episode, but you know what? I'll take it. It just kind of gives me a chance to build up my infrastructure um, reorganize some of my armies. Are we yet, are we able yet to do core organization? Let me see. Haven't checked on that in a while. Still can't do core is organization yet that's fine we'll just keep the conventional core size armies going it's been working for us so far I'm just, uh, I mean, I could be aggressive up here. I could be invading Maryland and Pennsylvania right now and probably bring this game to a quick conclusion and just kill the, McIntosh is recovered, and just kill the morale of the North. But I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I am playing, trying to keep the game going. I want to keep the AI in the game. I want to get into 1864 and 1865, if that's at all possible, and just see what the AI ends up throwing at me. I guess what I really want to do is turn this into like some kind of major last stand kind of fight, you know. 
we'll just see. I'm just going to give the AI a chance to get itself regrouped and reorganized. That's why I've got time just swinging by so fast right now. I'm just letting time tick. We're going to try and get through winter of 1862 and early 1863 and just see what the AI does to us. Construction complete. This is the hospital that we built for the uh, Army of, of uh, the Mississippi. So they've got their hospital now. Do we have any applic business applications that we can do anything with? No, nothing yet. Any federal buildings that we can build? We could probably build more hospitals. We need to build a news agency. Let's build a news agency. We need us a little news agency here outside Nashville. We got to get some propaganda going, folks. We got to win the propaganda war here. Time still ticking. Am I able to build any railroads yet? It's just no funding for these guys. I think I'm using up this. This is military subsidy funding. And every time I buy one of my military projects, it takes away from the funding of these railroads. But you know what? That's fine. I don't really care that much about the railroads. I'm kind of nerfing myself anyway. I don't want to get too overpowered here against the AI. So I'm not going to worry too much about the railroads. And I don't really use them that much anyway so what about my telegraph line here do I have that telegraph line completed Jalapa has fallen the French have invaded Mexico okay let's let's come up here to this little town up here and let's build a telegraph station up there to Batesville yeah the AI is just not doing much at all right now and I could probably end this game quick if I wanted to do a quick end. What's this here? High-ranking General Union Army. Is this General Order Number 11 ordering Jews to be expelled from his military district? This controversial order has already caused a loud outcry in the political leadership and the press. The Jewish population in the U.S. is estimated between 150,000 and 200,000. Interesting. What a mess. What a mess. All right, we're going to build a telegraph here. Yep, right there. They are in their location. Still no, oh, hold on. No, oh, yep, still no movement. Still no movement from the Yankees anywhere. I may I may have to s dispatch General Stewart to just kind of give me an idea what they're building up here. It's it's winter time right now. He's in winter quarters. Do I really want to do that to him? I don't think anything's going to be going on during the winter. I think the Yankees have settled into their winter quarters up here. I don't think they're really doing much of anything. So I'm going to try and burn through these winter months here. We can do some trade deal. Let's do trade deals. Let's do trade deals. Confederate rifles, ironclad gunboats, medium range carbide, military education. Military, yeah, let's do military education. 
yeah, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn through these winter months quickly as I can. I've got I've got time going by pretty fast. Dakota surrender. We're gonna burn through winter. I don't think the the AI is gonna do much of anything during the winter time, and I don't plan on doing much either. I'm going to just let my economy strengthen here try and build some infrastructure and get on into 1863 and hopefully 1864 and let the AI rebuild some of the morale of, of its uh, of its units here so we're in we're just about to finish up 1862 we're fixing to move into 1863 And we have got the time moving by fast right now. We have no company applications. The railroad. We've got some funding going for some railroads here. We'll keep an eye on that. That might be a possibility. Santa fighting for the Union. <laughs> Okay, did we what did we construct here? Fort Pillow. Okay, they must have had to do some repairs there. There is Fort Pillow. Okay. They must have come down and shelled us or something. I'm not sure. Okay, do we have this? Okay, we've got that telegraph station. Why don't you come on up here and build us another telegraph station outside that town there does anybody get any upgrades while we're waiting here how about in Virginia any upgrades for our armies No more upgrades, okay. Okay, we are into January of 1863. The Union is offering bounties. Gonna speed up the clock here. I know it's a little slow right now, uh, but I'm I'm trying to not overpower the AI. Okay, we've got reboard muskets that are available. So let's go through our, after we build this underground railroad opens. After we build this telegraph station, we get it started. Let's go through our units and give some weapons here. You know, I, I just, I'm such a dummy. I could have had the Western Army build this telegraph. Why can't I build this telegraph? Am I too far away? No, I shouldn't be too far away. I may be too far away. I don't know. Let's come down here. See if we have to be a little bit closer. I don't think we have to be. I don't think so. Don't know why I couldn't build that. Projects. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait for something better. Just no movement right now. No movement at all.
Now let's see, can you guys build a telegraph over here? Uh, I don't know why I can't build a telegraph over here. Can we just not build telegraphs west of... I don't know. Why can't I build the telegraph? Do I not have enough money? I must not have enough money. I, I don't know. That's weird. I've got a telegraph there in Batesville. Maybe I'm just too close. I don't know. That never seems to have mattered before. Maybe I have to come down this direction. Let's bring them down here then. Homes come down to Little Rock. Maybe we have to come in from this side here. What do we got there? That's a farm. Let's upgrade that farm. Why not? All right, everybody's still in winter quarters. Let's speed up the clock. I see no movement from anybody anywhere. We've got 52,000 men in the Army of Mississippi. We've got 26,000 in the Army of Tanucky. Confederacy Passes Revenue Act 2. Okay. I mean, I could, I could do some invading. I could really knock down the morale of the North. I don't want to do that, though. We'll do bounties. I guess we can see if we can order any more weapons. And I did say that I was going to go through and, and uh, redistribute those reboard muskets. Let's see what we can purchase here. Mississippi rifles are on the way. Plains rifles are on the way. We can order reboard muskets. Let's order another 10,000 reboard muskets. And we probably need to redistribute some of those. So let's see what we look. We haven't looked at the Missouri State Guard in a while. Let's check these guys out and their weapons. Springfield muskets. Yeah, they need better weapons for sure. Slack, let's upgrade you to some Mississippi rifles. Trimble. We'll get you some Plains Rifles. Clark. Reboard Muskets. Griffith. You're just going to have to go with Springfield Muskets for now, my friend. Got to use up these Frank Wesson carbides we've got. We've got a ton of these things. We 
We've got Burnside. We got a lot of these Burnside carbides too. We must have picked those guy picked them up from the battlefield is all I can figure out. Lots of Burnside carbides. Let's see, use them. Use them up. Let's let him get another artillery unit here from the Indian Territory. And we'll give them some 24 pound howitzers. All right, got all the new Weps, new weapons redistributed there. Still no movement from the AI. My Virginia engineers are all the way over here in Arkansas right now. Oh, we're building a prison. Somebody's building a prison camp over here in Arkansas. Officer rehabilitated. Who is that? John A. Harris. I don't even remember what he did wrong, but I forgive you, Harris. I forgive you. It's all good now, my man. It's all good now. Everything's fine. Okay, their readiness is suffering. I've been marching them around the map in the middle of winter here. That may be why they couldn't build those telegraph stations, because it's winter time. I'm going to let him rest here in Little Rock, get his, uh, get his readiness back up before I have him build anything else. January Uprising escalates in pr Russia. Available. There's a company application available. Oh, I love the company applications. We can do some brick works. Let's do some brick works here in maybe Mississippi. Oh, how about over here in Louisiana somewhere? We haven't done much in Louisiana. Yeah, we'll do some brickworks right there. And any projects? Civil order? No, I don't want to suppress population. Confederate rifles, medium range carbides, parrot rifles. Rebuilt ironclads, recruitment offices. Rifled artillery. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's do rifled artillery. Let's start buying some of those bad boys. Especially if we're going to get in, try to get into 1864, 1865. If we're going to try to prolong this conflict... I think we're going to need some good artillery. Yeah, we are in the depths of winter now. Just trying to get through winter time. I'll tell you what, I may regret... I may very well regret not being aggressive and just ending the game and going in and trying to uh, kill their morale by invading the North. I may regret it, but I mean, I've won this game enough times. I don't just need to win the game again. I'm trying to do something interesting here. They finished that prison camp. I'm trying to do something interesting here and get into realms with this game I've never gotten into before, especially with an 1861 start. 
I want to get into, I want to see how long we can go here and what the, what the AI can really do with these northern armies if I don't just annihilate him. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we're going to have to, we're just going to have to get through some of these slow times when the AI is trying to regroup. And I'm just going to have to let them regroup. So that's why I've got the time spinning really quick here. Can you guys build anything now? Can you build me a telegraph station, please? Can you build me a telegraph station somewhere? I don't know. I must have I must have reached my limit. Oh, right there. Right there. Yes. I don't know why that little spot right there was the only place they could build one, but another officer rehabilitated. William B. Bate has been rehabilitated. All is forgiven, and we've got... Yeah, he's recovered as well. Okay. All is forgiven, Bate. Welcome back to the fold, my man. Welcome back to the fold. Confederate recruits offered bounties. All righty then. Yeah, I'm trying to get me some telegraph stations and get some good communication across the Mississippi River and the marshlands here. So we can, if we need to communicate to the west, it's easily done. Easily done. All right, policy is available. The United States has done an Enrollment Act. Okay, we can do Military 3. I don't want to do bounties again. King Cotton would take 51 days. Fine, we'll go ahead and go into Military 3. It's going to take 68 days, so that will take us a while, but we'll go ahead and do this. I think this may give us, this may be the thing that gives us the core organization. I just can't remember. I can't remember what it is that gives us the core organization. But nevertheless, the AI is just really taking a break right now I'm going to drop a quick save here in case there's any shenanigans this game will definitely throw some shenanigans at you now every now and then it'll throw what have we got constructed here Brickworks, okay. We've got another company application. I love the company applications. Prove it, additional costs, additional costs. We've got a lumber mill that we can build. Let's build a lumber mill. Let's build a lumber mill. Where do we want a lumber mill? Let's do a lumber mill down here in Georgia somewhere. How about Macon, Georgia? Looks like a good place for a lumber mill. Okay. Idaho Territory Organized. Now, yeah, okay, they built that telegraph station. I want to get a telegraph station up toward this army up here. So let's get to Danville, see if we can build one there. We're getting into March, so I think we've pressed through the winter, just about done pressing through. Oh, hello, hello, hello. This is the problem I get whenever I get the clock going too fast and I miss something here. 
Okay, what's he got? Now, he just probably just popped off the Potomac River without me even realizing it. 20,000 men, 48,000 men. Uh, about 60,000 men. 106,000 men. Wow. Okay, then. This might be what I meant when I said shenanigans. Hundred and six thousand men. Okay. Do I have core at all? Please tell me I've got core. No, I still do not have core. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get General Longstreet in the Army of Northern Virginia across the river. And we're going to transfer. We're going to try to get this army built here. We're going to transfer Smith and Jackson. We're going to transfer Johnston's cavalry. That gets us up to 64,000. going to transfer Early's division from the Army of Rappahannock. Wilcox's artillery. That gets us up to 76,000 men. That's going to have to do. Probably better bring AP Hill up a little ways. AP Hill, you come on up as well. You're going to get involved in the battle. How's this battle looking, by the way? They're about to win the battle. Um... Okay, I totally, you know what I may have to do here? I may have to go back to that save because I completely got dis I got time ticking along. I did not see them come in. Okay, I need you force marching. I need you moving. I need you coming across the river too. Stuart, I need you getting down here. And I need you force marching as well. I may have to go back to my little shenanigan save um, so we can actually do this correctly here. you to get over here get across that river and I need you to force march
please hurry up and get across that river. Why are you taking so long to get across that river? Ah. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to give myself a little break here because I didn't even realize that was going on. I, that's my fault. I'm going to reload that because uh, I want to fight this battle. I'm going to reload that uh, shenanigan save I took so that I I can actually address this. I don't know how I missed it. I when you're when you're really zoomed out like that and you've got the clock going at 20 times speed and I I've got a bad case of not recognizing those flags, especially when I've got a lot of those flags grouped around and they're close to each other. Uh, a lot of times I mistake the American flag for the Confederate at, at the distance when you're really zoomed out. So um yeah, let's 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 come back at this where we can actually address it. Uh, I didn't even get the chance to address it here. So I have I have given the AI a break this game for 10 episodes. I'm going to give myself a break here, okay? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to give myself a break and so that we can actually address this the way it needs to be addressed. All right, so we are coming back. We're at February 23, so. So I'm going to nerf my readiness a little bit. I don't remember what I was doing way over here, but I'm not going to let myself get distracted by that right now. Going to get time ticking here. So now when he comes in to Fredericksburg, I will at least be ready to deal with it when he comes and attacks that. Uh, when he comes and attacks this fort here. I will... We'll bring the army of the Rappahannock across the river. They should be on this side of the river anyway. We'll let them go ahead and cross the river. And I wasn't expecting him to, to move 100,000 men in the middle of winter time either. So, General Stewart, why don't you come over here to Manassas? Should have been there anyway. Yeah, we've got 3,000 men in this fort, so they'll be able to hold them up till we get our men in place. But I am going to nerf myself in that I'm not going to cross the Army of Northern Virginia across the river until they do show up with their massive army. In the meantime, I will let go ahead and let these guys over here build their start moving up here to build that yeah when I was zoomed out like this I just absolutely did not see them because we've got I've got all these flags they're all ganged up right here and I just missed that extra flag right there when I was zoomed way out I just absolutely didn't see it there's no telling how long i it was there, and I just didn't see that they were there. The, the game needs to give you a better heads up when you're being attacked somewhere than it does, especially when you're zoomed out at this level. You know, I, I need to get some kind of blinking icon somewhere that says, hey, so-and-so sees the enemy moving 
you need to come in and check on them. So, yeah, we need something like that, some kind of mechanic like that in the game. Now, where are they? Where are they at? Um, where are they? Yeah, there's that brickworks that we just completed. Let's go ahead and bring you across the river. Not that direction, though. Not that direction. Why don't you come across the bridge, please? Just come across the bridge. Well, they've got an army of 106,000 men. I don't know where they are. How are our projects looking? We can do administrative reform. That's probably market reform. I've already got two levels of that. Occupation, no, I don't need that. I don't need to suppress the population. I could wait to subsidize the Banks. I think I may do that. What does market reform do again? Stimulate the local economy. Let's just do that. Let's do that. That's fine. We've got Confederate rifles, medium range carbines, rebuilt ironclads, recruitment offices. And the training, I think I said I did the training manuals, okay. Okay, where is this massive army? Now watch him attack me up in the Shenandoah Valley. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have to be more careful when I'm zoomed out like this. I've got to be more careful. Well, I, I, I don't know where they are now. Don't know where they are. Tell you what, this is going to be a massive battle, though, if he comes at me with 100,000 men. That's going to be massive. Still don't see them anywhere. Idaho Territory Organized. I remember getting that. All right, I'm going to pull Stuart back. Don't want him getting pounced on. Well, don't know where they are. All right, Longstreet is near some supplies. I'm going to pump up those supplies there.
But, um, yeah, we've heard rumors that there's a massive Union army moving somewhere. So, now watch him go do a amphibious assault against me somewhere. That would be fair. He may be, he may be getting ready to land those guys in the Carolinas for all I know. Don't know. Don't know what happened to them. Stewart is at his destination. Beauregard's readiness just got killed by something. Yeah, I hate having to try to cross these rivers. The that's one thing about the AI. It likes to be aggressive in the middle of winter time. Which is very annoying. So very annoying. Well, administrative reform. Did that army just materialize out of nowhere? Where did they go? Getting him across that river just uh, killed his readiness, though. Okay, we are into March now. This is about the time it went down, I believe. Oh, he's building some uh some newspapers up here. Got those company applications available again. That was the, um, what was it? Was it the lumber mill? Yeah, the lumber mill. And I think I said I built that down in Georgia, Macon, Georgia. Right there.
Lieutenant General James Longstreet. He is... Don't can't believe he doesn't have any better fame than that. Considering... Virginia. I've been wanting to give this a different name. I want to tell you what let's do. Let's try something here. Let's go into military. I want to recruit a new army. In is it not going to let me recruit a new army in Virginia? Army of Northern Virginia. What does General Lee? I still can't do core though. can't do core yet. I just can't do it. Well, now they done got shy on me. Okay, I'm not sure what, what happened to that massive Union Army that was just right there. It's interesting. Okay, well, I was hoping I could have a big battle, but I've already been playing for right at three hours here, and I know this was a uh, kind of a low-key episode, but it was kind of one that needed to get done. Now, they did, uh, I did kind of have a snafu there because I was I was planning to play in when I was zoomed out like, oh, hold on. Okay, we got we got stuff going on here now. All right, looks like we are fixing to have a little battle. So he's coming in with these core here. What's he got there? 14,000. Now, where is he trying to get to? So Pillow is withdrawing. That's fine. Is he coming down to attack Nashville? I think we may be fixing to be having a battle here in Nashville. So let's get you on the way. You get on up here, and I want you to take the railroad. And let's get the Army of Tanucky down here as well. Let's get you coming this direction. And I need you to force march, please. What have I got there? I've only got 400 men there. I am going to back off my Army of Tennessee. Can they get there in time? I'm going to back him off down this direction here. Because I want to wait for the Army of Mississippi. You go ahead, force march. We're going to count on our fortress slowing them down here till we can get our armies together. What's he got? He's got 14,000. It's 40,000. He's got about 70,000 men, so let's wait for our reinforcements. I want you force marching too. And 
Everybody needs to be marching. So they're coming for Nashville, but they're going to have to deal with this fort here. Okay, that fort will be able to hold out for a little while till we get our forces in place. His readiness is still good, so why don't you just come on in? Where's Tanucky at? Tanucky, you keep coming. Tanucky, get over here as quickly as you can. How's this battle going? Do we need to get in? They're about to win that battle. I need to come on in. Come on in. Well, it's just slowing them down is really all we're trying to do. What's going on over in Virginia? Here they come. Whoop, hold on. Very well coordinated attacks here. Okay. General Longstreet. Get up there as quickly as you can. I know it's winter time. Johnston, I want you to back off up the Shenandoah. Beauregard, stay where you are. AP Hill, you start coming north. All right. Boy, they love to attack in wintertime. I'll tell you what. Let's get this battle done this episode, and then we'll do the battle in Virginia next episode. They haven't quite won yet. I want them to get a little closer. I think Tanucky's too far away. I want Mississippi to get closer, though. All right, we got to do it. We got to do it. We've got... Yeah, we're just going to have to go ahead and do it with what we got. No other equal area upon the American continent has been so drenched with human blood. Man, Antietam with over 23,000 casualties. God, what a terrible battle. All right, we'll do this battle here. And then next episode, we'll, we'll do our battle in, in northern Virginia. It's going to be tough. We got to maneuver our armies up there in the middle of winter time. And uh, that's going to really affect our readiness. But I've been waiting for this battle here for a while. So I really do want to fight this battle. I've been wondering when they were going to start coming with the overwhelming force. And it's about time. Okay, we are defending a fortress, so where are they coming from? They are coming from, where are they coming in at? Oh, they're coming in from up there. Interesting, okay, 
He's got lots of opportunities for flanking me and moving around me. We're just going to have to defend this objective here. So what's his most direct? He's coming in from up there. He's probably... He's probably just going to come down that road there. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play it straight, as I usually do. We're going to go ahead and do a parapet. do some breastworks yep we'll do some more breastworks over here to the river yeah just like that now, any surprises? He's coming from up this way. He could flank me around if he was really, really clever. So just in case he is. All right, now let's get our army set up here. We got a pretty good size army. <laughs> wow. It's really something when you see them spread out like that. Let's get uh let's get everybody over here where I can see them. Who's this over here? All right, Hampton. What have you got? You've got mixed mixed muskets. Springfield, rifle, muskets. Oh, that's not good at all. Springfield, muskets, Springfield. Mississippi, rifles, Springfield, muskets. <sighs> reboard, muskets, planes, rifles, reboard, muskets. All right, fine. We'll put you on the main line there. We'll put Loring over here. Hampton can hold that flank. Barksdale, you're in reserve. Hawks, what kind of weapons are you? Spree board, muskets, mixed muskets. How did I let this whole army stand so long with mixed muskets? I have, I am really letting down on the job here. Let's get our conscripts over here. I thought I had upgraded everybody's weapons. And let's get our artillery on the line here. Artillery. Artillery, artillery, artillery. We'll get time ticking along. Pemberton, you get up on the line there. Maney, uh, you start working. Let me zoom in here. Maney, you start working on breastworks, breastworks, breastworks. Breastworks, 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 breastworks. McGowan, you come over there and work on breastworks. The 
let's get our conscripts over here and let them start working on breastworks too. Okay. Do I have any idea where they are? They could be anywhere out here. No idea yet. Do we see any dust clouds on the horizon? The AI has been surprising me here lately, but I, I have been getting kind of fast and loose with the time clock and zooming out real far. Uh, and I'm doing that because I just don't want to bore the viewers with time passing by really slow, but it's kind of bitten me twice here. Okay, okay, they're working on those breastworks. Going to speed time up a little as they come and as we're working. Maney, did I tell you to work on the... You're supposed to be... Yeah, get up there and work on those breastworks. Don't know where he's at. He could be blindsiding me again for all I know. Let me zoom out and see if I see anything. Let's see, who do you belong to, the army? Let's make sure everybody is long range. Everybody needs to be long range. Maney, I, this is the third time I've told you to move up there. Why are you not moving? Now we've got a weak spot in our defenses because you haven't been up here working on your section of the okay somebody should here they come here they come let's slow this down okay they're coming straight at us that's interesting okay then you get up here and get ready to support you get ready to support you send out Skirmishers, 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 skirmishers. We got all day ahead of us, too. It's only 8 in the morning, so it's going to be a while. So he's going to come through the forest, it looks like. Interesting. Don't let them rest. You send out skirmishers too.
Okay, he's going to come straight at us. Manning, I need you to hurry up on that those breastworks over here, please. Artillery is opening up now. Well, he's going to have a hard time finding an opening coming straight at my parapets like that. Garland, why don't you come up over here and be ready to help on that corner? Yeah, we're just harassing the daylights out of them. Send out skirmishers. Send out skirmishers and you send out skirmishers. Brigade has already lost 200 men. Send out skirmishers. Fighting withdrawal, please. Have it easily. Make them fight for it. Attack that cavalry right there. Don't let them get through that forest easily. I want that cavalry unit out of here. I think they're dismounted. All right, Ruggles, give them. Yeah, they're, they've lost 80 men. I can keep them in this forest and marching through this forest that'll keep them exhausted and tired well there's nothing armies hate worse than having to march through forests 
thickets and forests. Boys, do a fighting withdrawal. They've already lost a hundred men out of that cavalry unit, cavalry brigade. Okay, you boys back off, back off, back off. start backing out too. Get on out of there boys, get on out of there. Boys start backing out. Start backing out too. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming with some serious power there. Okay, Hawks, bring your boys. Bring your boys on up here. We're gonna, probably going to need you on the front up here. you cheat on up this direction fighting withdrawal boys fighting withdrawal Yep, they're coming hard right up the middle. Everybody is long range, right? Everybody should be long range. Keep backing up, boys. Keep backing up. Oh, we managed to run, uh, shake up one of their divisions there. Good job, boys. Dang good job. Yeah, they're coming on in now. 
They got to attack our parapets, though. I didn't realize there was a fence out there for them to hide behind, though. So that's going to be a problem for us. Better bring my... I better bring these guys over this way. Right, boys, start firing now. There you go. What are they doing? He's lost 400 men. Is he doing a is he doing a bayonet charge? What's he doing out there? We've got howitzer right here. He's lost 450 men from that brigade. I don't think that full-on charge like forward charge did him any good right there. What's he got coming here? He's trying another full-on head-on charge on us there. I don't think that's going to work out well for you either. Ooh, they just lost 600 men from that brigade with that head. Oh, he just lost a lot of men, too. Get over there and hit him on the flank, boys. Hit him on the flank. This frontal attack's not going to work out too well for him. Especially, in, we're going to be doing canister shot. Where are you going? What are you doing? Why don't you stay right there? Where are you going? Get yourself right back up there. He's only lost 150 men, though. All right, he's fixing to try to do a cavalry charge on us here. I see that cavalry charge coming. You, where, where are you going? What, what are you doing? Here comes that cavalry charge. He's probably fixing to try and charge this battery right here. That battery, I may have to back that battery out. All right, battery, I'm gonna back you on out. Retreat on out of there. What about this battery? This battery's in good shape. That brigade is broken up. I think this attack is about to fall apart on them here. Probably did not want to do a full frontal attack on my parapets like this. Well, he's fixing to try and go for that battery right there. Let's see how the battery stands up to this cavalry charge. I'm going to let him do it. See if he gets through the canister. He's fixing to try a full-on charge on that battery. I don't think it's going to work out. Nope. They're getting annihilated. They're fixing to be in canister range. How you doing, Stephen Lee? Stephen Lee's doing great with his batteries.
they're trying to stay out of range of my units but that's not working out too well for them is there anybody else sneaking up on my flanks that I was unaware of Hawks you're supposed to be moving your men up there Stevens bring your boys forward what what's going on right here Send out some skirmishers to do what? What in the world are you even doing? Where is a cavalry unit? Greer, go get this. Go get this idiot. Go get that idiot. What's he even doing over there? Is he trying to flank me? I don't think so. You go put pressure on him. Yeah, their attack completely fell apart. I don't know why his general... What is this guy doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What? What? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what. The... One of his generals is behind my lines, for God's sakes. This cavalry unit there just lost 500 men. They're still coming, though. He's still got power back here that's coming on. I'm going to back you out. You back out over here and get ready to flank somebody again. Looks like he's fixing to try and come at me from this angle. Which is fine. We've got Ruggles there with Deschler's howitzer. And we've got Canty. All right, let's bring up Barksdale's cavalry. Let's get his cavalry up here. We may make a dash out with that cavalry and get somebody. One thing I don't like is the fact that you don't fire on a unit when it when it routes like that. See, these guys could easily be firing at those men as they flee. The game just doesn't do that. It when when a unit routes, the it's like the game has mercy on them and they're just they have free course to run and mill about however they want to. Has he had enough? No, 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 you're not getting off that easy. Not getting off that easy. Loring, send your boys out too. Still, come on out with your cavalry. I've been wanting to get a victory against this uh, Western Kentucky Army for some time now. I'm not letting them get away that easy. They have been a threat to me since the beginning of this game, and this is my first opportunity to finally get a victory against these guys so I want my victory dang it Hampton bring bring your boys forward too
Cheatham, keep coming forward. Yeah, they're backing out. Barksdale, keep coming out. Loring's never going to catch up with them. I do have some, uh, I've got some skirmishers. Skirmishers, try to chase them down if you can. Do something to somebody. Yeah, they're getting out of here. Scott, who do you belong to? You belong to Cheatham, don't you? Barksdale, assault somebody with your cavalry. Rear, let's get you out here too. Maybe you can get to somebody. I don't know. I'm going to speed this on up as we try to chase them down. Really wanted a better victory than that, but I guess I'm going to have to take it. Loring, keep coming out with your... Cheatham, come on up too. They are fleeing in panic. Give somebody the cold steel, please. Give them the cold steel. Cold steel! Go up and get him. They're gone. I'm going to let them go. Well, he lost 4,000 men. We lost only, uh, we lost under 700 men. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. So we're right at four hours of gameplay. We've got a real big battle looming up in Virginia so I think I'm going to probably go ahead and drop a save here and go ahead and we'll do that next episode once we come back into this battle here Colonel Featherston has fallen to disgrace what did, did I have somebody route who did I have that routed I totally missed that. I don't know what Featherston did. Um, missed that completely. I might have to go back and watch and see what I missed because I didn't know I had anybody that routed in this battle. Unless it was a corner of the map I did not see. If he was um, flanking me, wouldn't be the first time that's happened. 
would not be the first time that has happened. Not sure what happened with Featherstone there. Let's we've got it paused. Okay, I'm not sure who we may still have a battle looming here with some of these other some of these other uh core that they've got coming in. I'm going to drop a save real quick. And what we've got for our next episode is we've got this massive, massive Union Army. Well, it was 24,000, 38,000. Well, it's not really that big. He did have 100,000 men. Now, he must have split that army up. They are taking Alexandria, too. But we're going to get into a battle with these guys at the beginning of next episode. We'll chase them down across... Northern Virginia. It looks like they're heading toward the Shenandoah Valley. Or maybe they're trying to come down this area here. Either way, we will catch up with them. With the Army of Northern Virginia. And we will have a battle with those guys. And that we'll do that next time. But anyway, uh, I've really enjoyed this. It's kind of been a low-key episode. Except for that battle that we just had. So I will get this uploaded to YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, please drop a like and a subscription and any helpful and encouraging comments. I always appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.